to load some test data accounts and go right in to start building the uh, first task on our list. So we're going to be building the script on the DDA section on the change account. Uh, for those of you that have been working with Navigator, you know uh, the, obviously the change account screen is the best option. I know there's also an inquiry screen, but we always recommend to make any uh, scripts on a change account. So there's your first hint for the day. Alright, so we're going to end up building three scripts. One's going to be the, uh, the warning messages. So we'll build that one first. Let me go ahead and we'll drag over and drop onto the account number field. Okay. So as you all know, from time to time when you go through and after you click update on your, uh, after you've done your, uh, done your changes, you may run across a warning message. Uh, very common to run across that. So how we deal with that with Foxtrot 1 um, is a simple if statement and we're going to build a loop. So the first thing you'll want to do is to go ahead and drag over and drop onto the warning label. Once we get the warning label in our preview section, uh, at that point we can click on the if statement, which is in your interactive actions list. And then you can select and say if the target is found. And that's very simple, so we click OK at that point. And I always recommend to notate your actions. So when you pass off your script to somebody else, they know exactly what you did. All right, so once you have your if statement, so now that we know that the target's going to appear, we'll want to go ahead and start building the process to click the checkboxes. So we can target the first checkbox and then we'll select work with table. And this is where our table technology comes into play where we're going to actually see where we highlight the first box and we're going to loop through the rest of them. The general uh, best practice to use the table technology is any time you need to uh, scroll through and either check these boxes or you're going to have to copy data from the table. So this is the first example. We're going to work with table. I'm going to go ahead and start the highlight. So what this is doing, it's going to highlight the very first top row in the column two, which obviously there's a um, hidden column here, that's why we're showing column two, but we know it's in the right spot. And when we're building the warning, you will have to come over to the advanced tab. And the target caption, you can see where it says require matching value to locate the target. That's not required. We don't need to check that. What we do need to go into is our uh, new uh, caption for parentage. At this point, uh, the action is going to execute, and I'm going to click OK. There we have our highlight. All right, so at this point, we'll go ahead and drag back over. And we'll select a work with table again. And this time, we're going to select interact with the highlighted cell. And what this does is tell Foxtrot, it doesn't matter where on the table that this highlight is, but it's just going to interact with the highlight. It doesn't matter if it's in cell 1, column 2, or anywhere else. So it's just going to interact with this highlighted cell. And wherever it is, we want to click it. So 
Foxtrot automatically notices that this particular target is a checkbox. So you're going to get a couple of different options to click to check every time. You know, click to uncheck and click to toggle. So obviously we're going to leave that at the default. We want it to check every time. So again, we're going to go over to Advanced tab and walk through the same options that we did on the Start Highlight, Zero It Out. Click OK, and now it's going to check our box. Now, we, the reason why we make it generic like that is so when you build a new script for your next project, that you'll be able to use this same section of script uh, to, you know, to use throughout the, you know, any script that you write. You'll be able to import this section and use it over and over again. So, yeah, it may take a few minutes to build right the first time, but you won't have to build it again after this. So the next action you want to do is, you know, uh, just by looking at the screen, we want it to go down. And, you know, uh, sometimes there may be, you know, not any more checkboxes. So we'll have to say, we'll have to build an if statement to say if it's the last checkbox, you know, go ahead and get out. But if there are more underneath it, click those as well. So we're going to embed a new if statement by targeting the highlighted cell. We're going to click Work with Table. And we use the IF statement here. Now in this case, we don't want to look for a particular target. We want to look to see if the highlight, we want to look to see where that highlight is in the table. In our comparison, what we're going to use is if it's not in the last row. Now, what that means is obviously there's more rows underneath it. So, if it's not in the last row, we want to we want to do something else. So, not in the last row, and that's all you have to select here. All right, so now. We know we have more rows, so we'll go ahead and build the actions to accommodate this. So at this point, we want to go ahead and do work with table. And we're going to want to move the highlight. We're going to move it down one position. And we'll have to go into our advanced tab and work out, make sure our parentage is clean. So at this point, we want the script to loop through uh, clicking the box, moving the highlight down over and over until it reaches the bottom of the table. So here's where we build in our looping uh, section. So I'm going to highlight the action that I want the script to loop back to. I'm going to add it in here. It's called a label. A label is just a point in the script that you want to go back to at any given time. So you can name it whatever you'd like. There's our label. And then the action that accompanies label is going to be a go to label. You know, we try to make it as easy terminology as we can. So not too difficult. So your label action uh, is going to give you, our go to label action is going to give you a list of current labels that are in 
your current path. So I only have one in here, so I just select the one and hit OK. So when this executes, it's going to jump back up here. It's going to click the button or the checkbox. Now, if you remember, that click action is not interacting with that particular uh, target that we targeted. It's just interacting with the highlighted cell. And then our if statement is going to look to see if it's on the last row, which it isn't. So then it's going to move the highlight down again. And then we're just going to jump back through and loop through this thing until it clicks all of the checkboxes. So what's going to happen is this if statement, at this point, is going to think that, here, let's just go down here. Maybe we can run through here like that. All right, so it's going to go through all of our boxes. All right, so it reaches the bottom. And now our if statement is going to come into play. So now it's going to say, now that the highlight's on the last row, it's going to jump out of our if statement and come down to our end if. At this point, we're ready to just click update again and go to the next record. And that is the warning message script.